The YouTube is Brian Phillips, A10 action, amazing. It's winter, we gotta get in the air, 5006S. By the way, if you haven't seen the retracts on this beauty, what an amazing set. Oh yeah, all three of them, Oleo spring-loaded, beautiful action, twin EDF, landing lights. This thing has it all, including flaps, and all sorts of functions that you want from beautiful planes. So if you guys haven't checked this out from FMS, you need to check it out from FMS. It's amazing. You may have noticed I dropped the wheels off the end of the runway. That's a little trick I use to extend my runway for takeoff. I don't even think I need to. Takeoff flaps deployed. Three minutes, 30 seconds of pure delight coming. You ready for this? She's in the air, out of the flaps. Okay. Look at those beautiful LEDs. Wish they weren't flashing. <laughs> oh yeah! Guys, we haven't flown an EDF jet for a while. Man, listen to that thing. Okay, listen, here it comes out of the throttle. Oh yeah! So cool. All right. Oh yeah, such a wide flight envelope. A10s are something else. Now this does come equipped with reflex. I believe you might also be able to get it as a pure plug and play, plug and play. Listen. Love the scream guys, so cool. Trying to hide in the trees. So cool, oh yeah! Tons of power, guys, check this out. The thing just has it to give. So now three minutes and 30, I'm gonna respect my timer. We got a minute 40 left on the timer now. A Little bit of rudder to keep that thing tight and right over the runway. And there it is, over by the bowl, please. Perfect, right there. You good? Mm -hmm. Trying to hit the low point here. Look at that landing light. Guys, three and a half minutes. A lot can happen in three and a half minutes, I'm just saying. Whoa, almost lost her there, guys. Okay, out of the gear, out of the flaps. She was acting like super nose heavy there. I don't know if you could tell. I'm gonna go for the uh, long haul approach. Okay. You good, camera crew? Yeah, I'll stay here. Okay. One minute left, we're gonna try hitting her. Okay. Right on the sweet spot here. Oh yeah, a little too fast, but beautiful though. Yeah. Dirty pass. Drop it over. We'll go around. Okay. We're gonna take the local route here, folks. Take off flaps, gear. Look at that action, it's so slow and beautiful. Okay, we're gonna put the full landing flaps in now. Just right in the line, trying to get it to slow down a little better this time. We should be good now. We might overshoot just a hair. There it is, guys. Oh yeah, nice. oh yeah, she's gonna overshoot, woo! So, one thing I gotta say, folks, this thing is big, it's huge, it huge. Is. And I gotta say, compared to the smaller A10 that we've done in the past, this thing has just way more presence. It's yeah. bigger, it's more intimidating. And by the way, I felt like it was wanting to lean forward, so I gotta probably get my battery back just a hair further. And honestly, I can't tell if that's maybe my fourth or fifth flight with this plane, but it was invigorating. And I gotta say, in the snow and the cold, and you know, you can see this little bit of snow, what a cool, cool livery 
for flying in that. But I gotta warn you, and this is true of every military jet we've ever done, they are designed to blend in so that they can go kill things with it, okay? Mm -hmm. This one does tend to blend in, especially with this type of blue and gray and blue and gray. It's just, it's gonna blend, okay? So be ready for it. Now, thank God for the lights on the wingtips, but they do flash. That's a miss. Don't make flashing lights. Nav lights are on for a reason. I am a human, I need to see it. So, <laughs> my only complaint on this plane is the same as it was before, and that is I don't want flashing LEDs. I, I don't mind if they offer it as an option, but I want solid LEDs. Solid LEDs help me see so I can land. Also, I gotta say, this plane has enough power to overcome an absence of skill, okay? So as you can see, namely in the middle of winter, I don't find myself flying these things a lot. And so when I get the big birds out, especially the EDF jets, you're gonna see that sometimes it looks a little off. That's because I haven't flown them much. And we do have a short runway. And when the lighting gets just so, I'm right on the laser's edge of my skill set. So having too much power or more power than you need to get the job done is the difference between success and failure. You may have seen me bail on my first landing attempt and this thing wanted to lean over on me, okay? So secondly, complaint number two, if I had to pick between reflex and no reflex, I would probably just pick AS3X and safe. I feel like it's slightly in, it's, it's gonna be a slightly superior experience, okay? It's a little bit more expensive. Even if you end up buying this sucker with the reflex, maybe rip the reflex out, put it in some other small, smaller plane, and then go ahead and use the AS3X and safe on this because I think this plane does really uh, good, but it's dead calm right now, and I would like to feel a little bit more locked in on this application. Now, the reflex does give you auto leveling, stabilization, and an offsetting, but you have to use a channel for that. And we have six channels on this plane. So I'm gonna let you guess what it is. We locked it on because we have throttle, elevator, rudders, ailerons, flaps, retracts. Yep. So there is no channel. So what we do is we usually take the retract channel, we plug it into the reflex, we change the mode, and then we leave it and disconnect it. That will leave it in the stabilized mode or in the auto leveling mode or in the off mode. But if you're gonna shut it off, just don't use the reflex at all, okay? So, beautiful plane, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up just to show you the landing gear. That was right at our timer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So three and a half minutes, we should be okay on voltage. And by the way, if you look inside of here, that's where I was riding my pack. 5,000, 6S, 50C pack. SMC packs are nice. I'd like to try some. We've been in contact, actually kind of got busy and forgot to follow up with him and vice versa, I think. Yeah. But they need to, I think this battery, if you're gonna use a 5006S, might need to move back just a hair, okay? Because she was feeling a little bit nose heavy on that. And I'm gonna just pick this up and show you how the gear did. There was one bump at the very end. And let's see if there was any damage. Does not look to be any damage. Those spring-loaded oleos are tuned well for the weight of this plane because it is definitely not a light plane. There's not much give on this. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, if these tires were softer, landings would be smoother. But look at my guns, absolutely gorgeous. Now, let's go ahead and close these landing gear right now. Absolutely fine looking landing gear. And do not forget, you have air brakes that deploy on all three gear. And that makes a difference. Maybe that's what I was feeling when I was coming in. I didn't even think about that. Oh. Cause I had this, it felt like it wanted to pull its nose down a little bit. Pitch forward a little? Yeah, exactly. Just slowing it down differently than you anticipated? Yeah, exactly. But the gear were opened way out there, and this is how you know you have a totally realistic plane. Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> bugs, guys. Why are there bugs? There's bugs. Not from today, <laughs> but when we originally reviewed yeah. this plane. So I gotta say, if you're in the market for an A10 and you want a good one, this is a good one. The two complaints I have are very minor and they are somewhat subjective. Flashing LEDs are not gonna be a big issue if you're flying during the daylight, but I gotta say, this is a cool time of year to fly when you get those rare windows where the wind is calm and you're not gonna literally die being outside. Before you get 11 inches of snow. Is that what we're supposed to get? Six to 11. That sucks, because we're supposed to be moving trees over there. Okay, well, anyway guys, there you have it. Amazing plane, 
If you haven't already gotten one, you might wanna think about it because this thing is pretty sweet. It's not the cheapest, it's not the fastest, it's not the best, and that's not what we do here on Brian Phillips RC. We show if the plane does what it's supposed to do, and believe me, notwithstanding my lack of skills and practice on this plane, it does pretty dang good, and it looks good doing it. Yeah, it does. Now also, you may notice that my battery didn't puff and blow up into 17 different pieces. It did not. It is a brand new battery. It's like three cycles deep. Yeah. So maybe four years old and beat to hell for every single flight is a little bit too much to put into a twin like this. But I'm gonna tell you this, high voltage packs might be the way to go to get the extra juice you want. But I gotta say, this thing has juice. It's pulling away at a near dive condition, stall conditions. And so I can't complain. Guys, awesome from FMS. Get one today. Check out the links in the video description below. Best way you can support Brian Phillips RC is watching videos, liking the videos, smashing the like button every single time. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. And if you want to help support us financially, all you have to do is just buy. When you're buying a plane, just follow the link. That way we earn some commissions. When you do, they'll know that we sent you there. Maybe we closed the, day, the deal. Maybe we brought your interest to the deal and you decided, hey, we're going to go ahead and give credit where credit's due if that's the case. Or maybe you don't believe that. Still follow the links anyway. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we love doing this stuff. We want to see the hobby grow. We want to see millions of people doing it instead of hundreds of thousands. And we want to see you guys find success. This is not going to be a beginner plane. I don't care who tells you that. They're wrong. Yeah. If you're flying this as a beginner, you're going to crash it, you're going to destroy it, you're probably going to lose the battery, and you're going to quit. That's called a one and done. We try to help prevent those. It's like one of our mission statements on this channel. We want to help people return to the hobby. We want to help people get into the hobby. We want you guys to find the best track for your own success. And everybody is different. Everybody has different budgets. Everybody has different skills. Everybody has different timetables. And we're going to help you right where you are, get where you want to get. That's what we do on Brian Phillips RC. So if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll get you where you want to go or we'll help you at least. Along with a group of people at the club, along as you know, maybe a good hobby shop that you've got a connection in. But if you don't have either of those things, we're here to help fill the gap. We want to get you guys in the air. And if you have a question, put it in the comments below and we'll get to it if we can, but we have a lot of good people that can yes. jump in and we'll answer. Yes, and they do. But if you guys are Patreon supporters, you'll know this too. You pretty much have my ear. Yep. We don't listen we as a benefit because we don't want you guys to have to pay no nope. stinking taxes on it, uh, which actually would happen if you're overseas. You have to pay a VAT yeah. tax. So we're like, we don't list that. Nope. But it is basically the easiest way to get hold of us anymore because I can't keep up with 100% of comments no, like more. we did for like the first 120,000 like subscribers. Eight years. It was crazy. I'd go on vacation for like five days. I'd spend like three and a half days getting caught up. We just ran out of time. Like we can't do it anymore. Yeah. So we do our best. We try to hit the, the highlights and we really appreciate you guys. We don't want you to think we're not reading your comments. Most of the time we do. Sometimes she'll call me at work and we'll talk about it and then we'll, we'll get a reply put together. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it says, thank you. And it was actually her typing. Shh. Secret, That's our little secret. So guys, we love doing this but it is demanding and we appreciate you guys supporting us how you can. And usually that looks like buying an awesome plane. Yep. From the link, everybody wins, you win, we win. The companies we work with that we support win. And they also let us tell the truth about their models, even if there's things we didn't like, like flashing lights or the reflex. I wasn't crazy about the reflex in this. I'd rather have AS3X and safe. But the thing is it does the job. It does hold down the cost on the receiver. Okay, so there's some definite advantages there. And if you're gonna be flying without this, then you don't want it anyway. So make sure you try to get it as a plug and fly instead of a reflex, okay? So when you follow the links, check. And if you're in Canada, there's different links for you, or you follow the same link, but then you just go to the Canada one, okay? Because mm -hmm. we show search results for this yep. particular product. So then you'll select, and it's super easy to tell in the title, we'll say only ships to Canada or Yes, whatever. and by the way, if you guys are wondering between this and the E-Flight, okay? The E-Flight one is smaller, it's very fast, very fast. And they fly on pretty much the same batteries, which is nuts, 4,000 or 3,200 6S. And I'm telling you, you can land it on this runway easily because of thrust reverse. So that's one advantage. So if you ever decide to put an avian in here or two, two avians, because it's twin, then just be careful. It's a lot smaller plane. I didn't realize this thing's like probably 35% bigger than the E-Flight one that's 1.1 meter. This is. Crap, how big is this? 1.5 or it's big. I'm sorry, I can't 17. even think of it. 
Huh? Is it 1700? No, no, I don't think so. If it is, I apologize. But it's huge, guys. It's way bigger. It's in the title. I'm six foot tall. Yeah, look at the title. You guys can see. I'm kind of squished down. So yeah. it's not. It's definitely it's not two meter. Yeah. No. But at the end of the day, when you support us, you support the companies we work with. When you support the companies we work with, you help propagate companies that make stuff that we like. That's what we want to do. Okay. And at the end of the day, you guys are the reason why we're able to do crazy stuff like digging that pond and really expanding on this little aerodrome that we're building here. There's gonna be actually a helipad here pretty soon. This, you see how I overshot the runway? Yeah. When there's a helipad there, I, I wonder how that's gonna work. We're gonna to have to put something down there so you don't overshoot into like the abyss of- The abyss. We've done that a couple of times. Yeah, we have. So if you guys are brand new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck we're talking about, <laughs> this is our runway. It's about 275 feet long and there's a little bit of a, an uphill at the first portion and then it's gonna stop here and there's gonna be a dam right there. We're pretty much lined up if you mm -hmm. come like 10 steps toward me. That's well, the dam, yeah. those, those stakes you see. Those stakes. That's gonna be done in the spring and there'll be a pond over there and we're gonna have a road that goes over there and then there'll be a hanger over there, a big hanger. It's like 60 by 80, 20, 20 high. There's gonna be a flying area over there. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So we hope you guys will be here with us so you can watch the progress and follow along in our lives. If it's not for following whatever particular airplane we're doing, It'll be for that instead. And obviously these second thoughts are short-lived and they're just kind of an exciting way for us to share and keep, keep ourselves sharp in the hobby too because when it gets cold, it's really easy to just say, hey, I'm not gonna fly because it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, get out and fly. You know, if it's five, six, seven times a winter, it's gonna help a lot. And, and by the way, I love flying in winter when it's calm, it is kind of cold. But the thing is, I love getting out there. It gets the juices flowing, gets you excited about what you love. And we know you guys love it or you wouldn't watch these videos. So also PayPal, Patreon, YouTube, super thanks and YouTube members, all much appreciated. If you guys are members on YouTube or members on Patreon, we really appreciate you guys. And if you've been with us for years, I just talked to a guy this week, Island Tom. And I just remember I was talking to him and I was telling him about our plans for the property and stuff. And it was just super exciting because he's been with us for like nine years maybe eight years, and we were doing Dynam 550 turbo jets. Oh yeah, that was way back at the beginning. That was back at the beginning, yeah, yeah. his painted yellow, and this guy's a pilot, and so it's just super cool to have such an awesome community of people that love aviation, love RC, that are following along with us. We love learning about what's going on in your lives too, but we know you guys are here for us, and we really appreciate it. So, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas if we didn't say it, and all the other holidays that are coming throughout the year, because you're gonna be watching this probably in the middle of summer now, and you're gonna be like, geez, you have a lot of colds, Brian. Well, that's because we film stuff when I have colds. Because we gotta keep filming. Because we love this stuff. So anyway, guys, without further ado, we gotta get in. I'm freezing. Yep. We hope you enjoyed the content. If you didn't already, smash the like button and come back for more. Thanks for watching.